so yeah i just want to say only way is up guys and it's so blessed to you know be with you guys to talk about it talk about it talk about it oh yeah dun, 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 dun. i'm annoying <laughs> Yeah, so many good things happening, so many good things coming. No more coming soon. Stay tuned, you know how that works. So yeah, for real. But yeah, there's a lot of different goals and aspirations definitely going for 2021, definitely going forward for the future. Definitely so I'm gonna just be as raw as I can. Cause you know, I've always been on Team Raw. If you know, you know, a lot of my 90s, my 80s, my 2000 babies, y'all gonna know what I'm talking about. Team Raw, Team Smackdown, <laughs> y'all know the vibes. Seriously, um, something that definitely is cool, definitely something that I definitely, you know, do for, remember for in the future is finding things that bring peace, finding things that remind, you know, of good times, of good times. For real, like there's so many different values and memories and coming along with those memories, you connect them with how they connect with you today and how they brought you through your accomplishments and all the things you wanted to accomplish today, you feel me? So yeah. But yeah, what I mean by keeping it raw is just keeping it 100, keeping it real, getting right to it, you feel me? Internet age and in the internet age means there's different ways to basically have our vision boards near us, have our vision boards there, have our vision boards like being planted around us and just striving for us to take action. And yes, there are people who literally cut out things that remind them of vision boards that they aspire to see. And there are even people who use the Instagram safe tab, Pinterest, Tumblr, that connects with things that, in a sense, they aspire to want to, you know, like, indulge with, or it reminds them of things that connect to pieces that are going to help them aspire what they want to do, who they want to be, who they are, who they are, like, simply matter of a fact. So yeah, so yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. You can definitely make it visual. You can even print out art pieces. You can even purchase art pieces and invest in art pieces that may even just be words that empower you and remind you of things that you are or things you aspire to be. Like I have that that I'm all over my room. I'm very big on art pieces. I'm very big on words. I'm very I'm very big on vibes. You feel me? <laughs> You're tuning in the big vibes, big vibes right now, you feel me? So yeah, so that's like very important. I just definitely think that will continue to flourish because there's a lot of, you know, um, So yeah, like I mentioned, Pinterest, Tumblr, and Instagram. They tab are great sources and tools you can find. There's even if so apps that actually help like, you know, organize a vision board for those who really do like to indulge even deeper and take things that they see and 
place it to somewhere that they can see whenever they want to or create an organization of where they can see when they want to. And Vision Board is a good app that just happens to do that. And that's where I'm also going to break down and talk about different categories. Categories help see similarities. Categories help see where there's different places though that you're completing these goals. Categories help show the type of versatility of a person that you are and things that you want to see and things that you know is coming ahead and things that like you've done. Like these categories can range. They can go from fitness, food, health, beauty, you know? It, there's so many different categories. Art, career, literally down to circle. Like who, what type of circle are you gonna be in this year? What type of circle do you represent? Like who are you in the circle? Like. You know, there's so many different things. There's traveling, there's adventures, there's so many different things that, you know, you can gain knowledge in. There's so many things that knowledge can, you know, really lead to. And I think it's very important for people to create knowledge with your mind, with your body, with your soul, and keep it super rich on some soul-ish, like a soul dish. You feel me? And what I, I'm really saying by that is just to keep yourself happy and full of nutrients. Find the comfort to strive and that's just simply it. Like, you know, there's so many different things that you, know, you can accomplish, you can do, and it can happen. I definitely think that for a vision board, it's good to manifest things that you want this year, manifest things you want in the future, manifest things that you've been just manifesting because manifestation is real. Like I said, things that I'm looking forward to in the future really just revolve around happiness. Like, keep it life, you feel me? You know, taking care of myself, seeing everyone be great, creating abundance of love, period. I think that's just the most part of it. And don't forget to smile along the way and do things that elevate the mind. That's really, really very important. I almost totally forgot this and this is the most important part because this is where I really, 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 really you won't hear me out. You won't hear me out on this. Don't listen to what nobody says when they're talking to you, talking about, oh, it's a week or two into 2021 and you now making your vision board. Don't listen to no one to be like, oh, you wait till the new year to do a vision board. Because you know what? To some areas, um, the year don't start until March because that's when Aries season starts. And Aries technically is the first constellation sign. In the horoscopes, that was real, on some real ish. Don't let no one dictate or try to tell you or put you on deadlines for your goals and like what you're trying to do. Like, you know, like everything has a place, everything has a moment. So just roam in yours. You feel me? I did want to mention a great tool that I did invest in. And I'm going to put the link down in the description below. And I just feel like honestly, everyone should, you know, um, get to it and should be using one and just, just like that they're back like they never motherfucking left the sunglasses yeah honestly i really do think that investing in a good pair of sunglasses are important regardless of the time of the year sunglasses just shining 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 and yeah i was gonna say a planner why I think it's so good to invest into a planner because honestly it helps you write out your schedule, write out what you intend to do for, for the day, for the season, for whatever, for the year, for whatever, for the day, for the morning. It just helps you like, you know, like reassure things that you want to do. And I just, I love planners, honestly. And my favorite part of the planners are on the outside. And I really love different types of aesthetics of planners. Like, there's so many options to choose from. And I definitely love the ones that have words on the front that are very motivational and very, like, power-driven. And that make me, like, want to go chase the chase the dream. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm getting sleepy and tired. So, you know... Job done. Party done.